Welcome back to the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we're continuing our verse-by-verse -verse study through the book of the Gospel according to Matthew. We've got our highlighters, we've got our, our Bibles, um, and uh, we've reached chapter 11, and I'm going to jump right in it, starting at verse 1. The, Ma the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verse 1. Now it came to pass, when Jesus finished commanding his twelve disciples, that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John had... Yeah, amen. Verse 2. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said, and said to him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Verse 4, Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you see, which you hear and see. Verse 5, The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Verse 7, As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, what did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in the king's houses. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. Verse 11. Shortly I say to you, among those born of women, there is, not one, there is not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. That's verse 12. We want to highlight that's um, the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. That's one of our, our, our foundational uh, scriptures. Amen. Verse 13. For all the prophets and the laws prophesied. Amen. Verse 13 again. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who he who he who has ears to hear, let him hear. But to what shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in a marketplace and calling to their companions and saying, We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We mourned to you and you did not lament. Verse 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he was a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a wine bibber, a friend of the tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her children. Verse 20. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done, because they did not repent. Amen. So I want to highlight that. That after the healing, the people didn't turn. They didn't repent, he said. And he began to rebuke them. Verse 21. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethesda. For, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in that day of judgment than for you. Verse 23. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been seen in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. Verse 24. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. In verse 25. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord, of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent, and have revealed them to babes. Amen. So we're going to highlight that. Verse 26. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. 
All things have been delivered to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father. Nor does anyone know the Father except the Son. And the one, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal Him. Amen. So we, we're going to highlight that with a different color. Right? Jesus laying it down that He and the Father are one. And you don't get it unless it comes through the Son. Verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Of course, we're going to highlight that. Amen. Verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. In verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. And what I did, I highlighted that different in the margin. I mark it with a little red to bring it out, and I write yoke with a see-through highlighter. I kind of wrote it over the words. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Verse 28 said, Come to me, all you who are heavy, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. And that concludes the 11th chapter in the Gospel according to Matthew. Amen.